We want to determine how far it is to fly directly from Fort Myers to Orlando. So how we're going to do that? So you just need to figure out what the rest of this is here. So this is a since this straight line is 180 degrees, this right here is 130 degrees. So what this means is to find this. We'll just make that some arbitrary side, just call it a squared. It's equal to, we have 150 squared plus 100 squared, uh, minus 2 times 150 times 100 times the cosine of that 130 degrees. So we get, um, I'll just make a equal to the square root of all that. You'll have to use a calculator. Squared. And this is equal to, let me see here, uh, two, 227 rounds down, rounds to 227.56 miles. All right, so we have this. So what this means now is they want to find uh, what bearings should the pilot f use in order to fly directly to uh, from uh, Fort Myers to Orlando. So they want to know what this angle is over here. So what we can do is we can actually just use, uh, in this case, the law of sine. So sine of 130 degrees over 227.56 is equal to... Um, sine of Fort Myers, I'll just call it a over 100. Cross multiply. And we get which is equal to 19.67 degrees. And what this means is that'll be, uh, if you want to write this down exactly, it's going to be... Um, 19.67 degrees uh, east of north. That's it. This is your two problems. So this is a solution to part A, and this is a solution to part B. There you go.